chapter 10, verse 9. I'm reading from the Amplified Version. Put it on the board there, please. Check this out. This is very powerful and very profound. Jesus says, I am the door. Come on, read this with me. I am the door. Anyone who enters through me will be saved. Now the Amplified says, and will live forever. Come on, tell the person next to you, I'm, I'm, I'm living forever. I will live forever. Come on. Some of you don't know what you say now. How many of you believe that you're going to live forever more? Come on, forever and ever. Turn to somebody else and say, I'm about to live forever. <laughs> so he says, I am the door. Okay, so anyone who enters through me, that's the condition you've got to enter through him. He says, then he will be saved and will live forever and will go in and out freely and find posture. Spiritual security. Now, listen to me. Jesus is my open door. I want you to get this picture in your mind. That He is the door. Now, let me put it this way. He is the only door. Amen. Come on, somebody. Jesus is the only door Amen. that will lead to salvation. Come on. That will lead to heaven. That will lead to eternal life. Yes. There's many people these days and say, this one can save you. And there's many other doors and many, many other ways. Let me tell you, it's the only door that lead to eternal life. There's no other door that lead to life. Can you say amen? amen. He says, I am the way. Help me the truth and the amen. life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Lift your right hand and say, Jesus, Jesus is my open door. And I want you to picture this, that He is the open door. And when you can go through Him as the door, the Bible says, then you will find pasture, blessing, the abundant life. Come on, tell your neighbor, it's okay to be blessed. Come on, tell your neighbor, it's okay. The devil hates prosperity. And that's why preachers and pastors are criticized for preaching the good news, preaching prosperity. Let me tell you, part of the good news is to have a blessed life, is to enjoy the abundant life. Listen, the gospel really means good news. And Jesus came so that we can have life, help me, and have it more abundantly. Yes, He came to save you. Can you say amen? amen? How many of you are saved this morning? You are saved. You are on your way to heaven. Amen. So how many of you believe that God has good things for you? Posture. Amen. So why will you criticize prosperity? How dumb can you be and still breathe? God is a God of prosperity. How many of you believe that this is God's word? Come on, we just read this. Amen. If you can go in through me, the Lord says, go in and out freely, then you will find pasture. And it's God's will for you and me to enjoy the abundant life, but you've got to go through Him. He's the only door that will lead to true happiness and pasture, joy, peace, salvation. And I want you to know this morning that it's God's will for all of us to enjoy a full, full life. Say amen. 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 There's so many people these days, they're going through all kinds of doors. And there's many doors. Listen to this. Uh, you can call the door whatever you want to. If you can see doors this morning, there's many doors. Sin. And some people try certain things this morning because they, they, they have a need of happiness. Let me tell you, only Jesus can give you happiness. 
Not even money can give you happiness. Now thank God He wants to bless us with a lot of money. Can you say Amen? But then you must have a kingdom mentality. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. Come on, and then all these things will be added unto you. So that's the point. You have to make Jesus your open door this morning. He is the open door, but you've got to get this revelation. You must make Him personal, your open door. And it's God's will for you to have this close relationship with Him. It's God's will for you to walk with Him. Because in and through Him, there's pasture. There's abundant life. Come on. There's joy. There's peace. There's happiness. There's healing. Tell your neighbor, it's okay to be blessed. Come on, say it again. But there's only real blessing. Say, real blessing. Come on, true blessing. In Christ. There's no blessing outside of Him. He is my open door. Lift your right hand. Say, Jesus is my open door. So, get this. If you can stay close to this door, if you can go in and through this door, His name is Jesus. If you can start walking with Him, getting a close relationship with Him, there's posture for you. Come on. There's an abundant life for you. There's many people this morning, they try all kinds of stuff. Many people this morning, they're not in church, they, they try to find happiness at some places. And they will find out that there's no joy, there's no happiness there. Only Jesus can give you a fulfilled life. He says, I am the door. And this morning I want you to get this. You must make Jesus your open door. Because of the cross. And because of the price that He has paid on the cross. The door is open. Say it with me. Say the door is open. Say it again. The door is open. So the question this morning is, are you willing to go through this door? Are you willing to walk by faith this morning? To say, I will go through this door in faith. I walk by faith, come on, and not by sight. Now listen to what the Bible says in Revelation. Put it on the board, please. Revelation chapter 3, verse 7 and 8. The Amplified Version says, And to the angel divine messenger of the church in Philadelphia right? These are the words of the Holy One, the True One. He who has the key to the house of David. Many people ask, what is this key? What does this key mean? It really means power. It really means authority. Why? Because He has the authority. Say, Jesus has the authority. To open and to close. He can open doors and He can close doors. He has the authority. He has the key of David. He says, who opens and no one will be able to shut. And he who shuts and no one opens. I know your deeds. See, I have set before you an open door. Which no one is able to shut, for you have a little power, and have kept my word, and have not renounced or denied my name. This morning I want to declare prophetically over your life, many of you, you have served the Lord for many years faithfully. How many of you are trusting God for new open doors in your life? You trust the Lord for breakthroughs. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You've got to react. How many of you are trusting God for miracles, signs and wonders in your life? I want you to understand that Jesus is the door. He is the open door and that the door is already open. But many people talk about this door. Many people talk about Jesus. Many people know about Him but they don't have a personal close 
relationship with Him. You have to cherish this door. His name is Jesus. Come on. You have to protect this door. His name is Jesus. Because only through this door, there's pasture. Only through this door. Come on now, somebody. There's abundant life for you. Only through this door. There's eternal life for you. Amen. And it's my desire that all our people, everybody who's watching now, that you will have a close relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. It's God's will for you to experience all the blessings that He has in store for you. Can you say Amen? Amen. Amen. How many of you, you really believe that God can turn your life around in this year? How many, yes. how many of you believe that God can do the supernatural? Come on, do you really believe it? Yes. How many of you believe that God can do that impossible thing in your life? That it seems impossible, but the Bible says that nothing Hello, nothing is impossible for Him. He is the door. And this morning He says, I'm giving you an open door. But what must you do? You have to walk through this door by faith. That really means to start walking with Him. To have a close, intimate relationship with Jesus. He's the way, the truth, and the life. He's the door. In John 10, you can go and read it for yourself later. He says, I am the good shepherd. I've laid down my life. <laughs> it's the thief who came to kill and steal and destroy. But I came so that you can have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. But you have to make this door, this open door, your own. You have to make Jesus the open door, your own. He paid the price 2,000 years ago. Get this on the cross. And this morning, He is the door. But He's not only the door. Listen, He's the open door. But think about how many people never walk through Him. Never walk through this door. Think about how many people are choosing even today not to go in and out through this door. The only way for you and me to get to heaven is to go through this door. The only way for you and me to enjoy the abundant life is to go through the door Jesus Christ. May you develop a relationship with Jesus like you have never had before. Can you say Amen? amen. Lift your right hand and say, Holy Spirit, coach me. <laughs> Come on, let's pray. Say, Holy Spirit, teach me to walk with Jesus. Listen to this. Write this down. The Holy Spirit is the greatest promoter there is. But He will only promote Jesus Christ. I'm going to say that again. That was too good. The Holy Spirit is the greatest promoter there is. But He will only promote Jesus. And this morning we are here not to promote anybody. Say Amen. But Jesus Christ. He's the open door that leads to the abundant life. But you've got to get this. I am the door, He says. If you can go in and out through Me, then you can enjoy the pasture. Then you can enjoy the abundant life. Then you can enjoy whatever I have in store for you. I believe it's God's will for all of us that all our family members will be saved. Say Amen. amen. How many of you believe that God can save your whole family? Lift your right hand and say, Lord, do it, please. Save my whole family. Come on. My whole family. Let them get saved, Lord. You love us. Thank you, Jesus. You are my open door. My open door to salvation. 
and not only for me, but for my whole family. How many of you believe that it's God's will? You see, this is the gospel. This is good news. You believe that it's God's will for you to enjoy good health. Thank you for that one. Amen. Do you believe that it's God's will for you to be healthy? Yes. Tell your neighbor, may you be healthy all the days of your life. All the days of your life. Jesus is the open door that leads to health. Why? He paid the price with His own blood so that we can be saved. Amen. But also that we can enjoy the posture. What is the posture? All the blessings. That which is part of the gospel and healing, come on, health, wealth, peace, joy, yes, amen. happiness. Amen. Say with me, there's only true happiness in Jesus. So many people, many young people this morning go through certain doors, get this. But this is the only door, his name is Jesus. That will really lead to true happiness. You will understand what I'm saying now. There's no, no happiness in sin. Hello? I need to speak to somebody this morning. You can drink all that you want. There's no peace in that. There's no happiness in that. Come on, there's no joy in that. In fact, it will give you more problems. And we don't condemn anybody. I'm just giving you the truth. There's many people that think that in drugs, in addictions, there's happiness, there's fulfillment, there's not. In fact, it will give you greater problems. There's many people sleeping around this morning. Let me say it as it is. You can have all the sex that you want. It will not give you happiness. Sex within the marriage is God's will. There's, there's joy and there's security. There's love. But get this. All these other doors. You can name the doors whatever you want. It will not bring happiness. It will not bring joy. There's only one door. And the good news this morning, the door is open. Yes, amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. What must we do? Go through. In and out. And it's not a once off. Thank God for that. Huh? Amen. But day by day you can go in and out. Yes. That really speaks of having a relationship with Jesus. Yes. That really speaks of walking with the Master. Come on now, somebody. That of being close to Jesus. He's the door and He's the only door that will lead to posture. Just picture all these doors that I'm talking about and then you name those doors. There's a door, money. There's a door, sin. There's a door, habits. Whatever you want to call it. There's a door, addictions. There's a door, hobbies. Thank God for a good hobby, but just get, get my point. The only door that will lead to happiness is Jesus. Amen. He says, I am the door. The good news this morning is that the door is open for all of us. Say Amen. amen. It's not close. But many people choose this morning not to enter that door. Not to walk through that door. And I want you to understand that God's will for you is to walk with Him and walk through this door on a daily basis. And may He give us all the desires of our hearts. He said, I've set before you an open door and nobody can shut it. The good news this morning, there's one door that nobody can shut in your life. What is His name? Jesus. Get the revelation. Many doors, listen, can close. And many of you have experienced things like doors that have closed in your life. Doors open, doors close. 
But there's one door that nobody can shut. There's one door that nobody, even those enemies that don't like you, they can't shut this door in your life. Get this powerful revelation. His name is Jesus. No one can shut Jesus in your life. He is the open door in my life. But we have to make a decision to enter. Come on. To walk through. To start walking with Him. The point really is to have a relationship with Him. That's it. I want to bless you, my child. Listen to this. My sheep, I want to bless you with green pasture. That's John 10. I am the good sheep, but I love you. I want to protect you. But there's only pasture. There's only life through this door. Because the enemy, the thief, he only came to kill, steal, and destroy. And he jumped to defend the enemy and break the roof. But Jesus said, I am the door. That's the only way for the sheep to enjoy whatever I have for them. So, let me close with this. We have to make Jesus always the center point of our lives. Come on, He's the Alpha, He's the Omega. Amen. He's the beginning, He's the end. He should be the center our lives. He should be really the middle point of our lives. Start walking with Him. Make Him your everything. Let Him be your everything. Never again, let me teach you some powerful stuff here. Never again say, oh my wife is my everything. Don't say it. He doesn't like that. Never again say, my husband is my everything. No. Shouldn't be like that. Say, Jesus is my everything. Some people say, Oh, my kids are my everything. No, they're not. Oh, we love them dearly. I'm a family man. Yes, my beautiful wife. And I love my children. I'm a father. Tremendously. But he should be my everything. Amen. Did you get that? Jesus should be your everything. Amen. Amen. Thank God for your family. Thank God for your beautiful wife and handsome husband. Amen. All the men say, Amen. 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 Thank God for your clever children. Amen. You know, when you talk to a daddy or a mommy, your kids, man, they are so clever. Yes. I mean, they are the best. Yeah. Oh, they are the most beautiful little Amen. ones. Yeah. So thank God for them. Lift your right hand say, Jesus. Jesus. But you. Jesus. Come on, do you enjoy the word? Amen. Say, Jesus, but you. Jesus. You are my everything. You are my everything. Now you get it. You are my everything. He is the door, but He's not only the door. He is the open door. Yes. Check this out. The only the only opening, the only door that can lead to the abundant life. There's many doors and the devil will show you many doors and say try this and try that. Come on, this will make you feel better. Just try just once. Now, many people this morning are addicted to certain things. Because the devil has lied to them and said, just try it. It's a one-off. will make you feel better. I want you to know that the devil is a liar. Yes. Jesus is the one that will change your life. Not only will he, will he make you feel better, he will change your life. Amen. May he change your circumstances. Come on, may he change your family. He's the open door. Walk with Him. Walk in and through Him. And shut all the other doors. Come on, let's call it the devil's doors. Come on, shut that door in the devil's face. Shut it. 
That's sin and addictions and wrong relationships. Whatever you name it, shut those doors. But this door is open for you. And He said, I have set before you an open door. So many people this morning, they focus on blessings and they focus on money and they focus on this and that. No, no. We should focus on Jesus. Because He leads, this door leads to whatever we need. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Shut all the other doors. Tell your neighbor, shut the door in the devil's face. Come on, shut it. But there's an open invitation this morning from Jesus. And He says, well, I am the open door. Now, isn't this beautiful? I am open to you. I've paid the price already. I am the open door. Just come. Just walk through me. It's not a once of start walking with me day by day. It's like from the beginning when God walked with Adam. The Bible says day by day He walked with Adam, His son. The Bible calls Adam the son of God. And every day God was looking for Adam and says, Hey, it's time for fellowship. I want you to walk with you. I want to walk with you day by day. And that's really what God wants. It was never God's idea for us and for people to have dead and dry religion. It's God's will for us to have a living, come on, relationship with Jesus Christ. And therefore there's no condemnation in Christ. Can you say Amen? amen. But He desires, He has this great desire, Jesus has. We have this relationship with you. And therefore, every day, spend time with Him and remind Him, Lord, You are my open door. So whatever you need, don't focus so much on the need. Focus on the door. Focus on Jesus. Come on, tell your neighbor, start focusing on Jesus. Come on. Say with me, don't focus on the problem. Come on, somebody. Stop talking about the problem. Some of you, you talk about the problem all the time, eh? And then you have tea parties and then you talk again about your problem. And you talk about your husband. Ouch. Or you talk about your wife and your kids or your boss. Ain't now. Ouch. Stop talking about your problem. Start talking about the door that will lead to the solution, that will lead to your blessing, that will lead to your healing. Come on, somebody. That will lead to your peace and joy. And God can restore your marriage in one moment. God can save all your children in one moment. Start focusing on the door that will lead to, to paradise, that will lead to the abundant life. It's a great fulfilled life in Christ. Amen. That no other door, no other sin, no other addiction can give you. And he says, I am the open door and nobody can shut me. This is really so good, it blesses me. Nobody can shut Jesus. Write this down. Nobody can shut Jesus in your life. No one. Not even the devil. But only yourself. If you don't start walking by faith in and through you. Think about this. There's many people this morning, actually they are shutting the door. He says, I am the open door. But they shut the door. It's the open door. And it's okay to be blessed. It's God's will for you. To enjoy good posture. So start enjoying the abundant life. Don't say this morning, if one day I have this or that. No, no. Say this morning, lift your right hand, let me teach you. Say, thank you, thank you, Lord, that in Christ I'm already blessed. So I receive it now by faith. I'm highly favored. Come on, I'm blessed. In Jesus' name. Thank you for posture. 
Thank you for the abundant life. Thank you for blessing me and my family. Thank you for giving me the, the desires of my heart. Thank you for making a way. Come on, let's pray. Even where there's no way. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. Thank you for your word. Thank you for confirming your word now. With miracles, signs and wonders. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, let's love for Jesus. Come on.